Cause it like Cause that mochi mochi That she tryna throw me She said she was lonely But girl that shit will before me I said I got though, When she gave me top oh. Looking like that got to run And got see through them ops though We was in a soccer She wants to make Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nif and today, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make any stretch resolution for just about any game on Steam for AMD graphics cards. Um, I'm doing this for the sake of the general community with graphics cards everyone has NVIDIA and I'm doing this because AMD is one of those things, is one of those um, brands that you know, quite a bit of people have, quite a bit of people know how to do it, but they're like, they know how to make stretch resolutions, but they're way too lazy to do it. Um, I'm going to be like 100% honest right now. Like I, I would, I wouldn't blame them for being really, really lazy about making stretch resolution. Anyways, without further ado, um, first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install your, your amd whatever drivers so you can just go like you can literally just go on google or for example i'm using DuckDuckGo, and just type in amd drivers and then you can literally just you know go here select the graphics card you have and all this other stuff and then with all of this so once you you know you get it installed and then you go to wherever it's downloaded so downloads like in my case it'd be right here it's in my downloads and um yeah i mean this you just open it you know the way you'd usually do with any other install and so then once you have that open you could either type in here for amd or you could just Go like that you know just right click on your desktop so first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to display and then you're going to want to create a custom resolution so i'll just make another one sorry for any background noise i don't know there's something going on outside i think someone like got set on fire or something i don't know um anyways so what you're gonna want to do is let's say you want to play 1440 by 1080 like i do over here all you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to you're gonna want to go to your radiant settings it should look like this or something similar at least so all you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to you know like i said you go display create then you're gonna want to change the first one over here I'll actually put it shrink back a little bit. I'm gonna just expand it a little. So this over here, you're gonna want to change to 1440. Um, doesn't really matter. This usually works for most games like Counter Strike, any Valve game, pretty much. Um, I'll even show you guys the way to do it for Fortnite too, because I already have that on my computer. So you wouldn't want to change this one to 1440. If you play, um, if you play on a uh, 1920 by 1080 p monitor, um, ideally you'd want to go to 1440. But if you know your PC is trash and or going 1440 in just about any game is terrible because playing 1080 on just about any game is terrible on your computer, which, hey, you know, I had to go through that at one point. It's totally understandable. You could downscale it to I advise the lowest to go to would be 1024 by 768. Um, that's actually what I use in Fortnite right now because why not? I mean, why not squeeze up more FPS? Anyway, so then you want to change this one to 1440. Uh, make sure the G refresh rate. You could even just read it hurts. You're going to want to make sure it's 60. Or the, whatever it says up here. Whatever it says up here is what you want it to make sure it's the same number as. That is your... Um, that's your display. Your... Uh, ref refresh. Yeah, your refresh rate. And... Sorry about that. Oh my god, I feel like burp. 
That depends on your refresh rate. I play on a 60 hertz monitor. I want to upgrade to 144, but 144 hertz monitors are so freaking expensive. I don't understand why. But whatever. I play on a 60 hertz monitor. This is what you do. You just gotta make sure this is the same as this one over here. Um, ideally, you'd also you'd like after you do this, right? You hit save. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it saved. Now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go in here. You're just gonna want to copy everything. Uh, free sync. You turn it off unless your monitor supports it. Uh, virtual res super resolution, whatever this thing is, ideally. I mean, I have it turned off because I don't even know what the hell it does. GPU scaling, turn it on. Scaling mode, this is the one that you're going to want to pay attention to. You're going to want to select full panel. Because it should be either on preserve aspect ratio or centered. Which pretty much means black bars. I don't know if you like playing with black bars. If you like playing with black bars, just leave it at centered. But I'm here to make a full panel aka a stretch resolution um, video anyways so once you do this it, you should be all set to go you could even open up counter-strike and and then like you know select 4x3 and then your 1920 by 10 uh, not 1920 1440 by 1080 sorry and uh, yeah it should be good oh I almost forgot another thing if you want to make sure that your settings have been applied you're gonna want to go to the certain game. I know certain games like Rust, for some reason, does not have it applied. I can't like I can't use uh, stretch resolution in Rust. Maybe I can. I'm just probably too stupid to like actually know how to do it. But for Counter Strike, for Team Fortress 2, Half Life, you know any Valve game, uh, you're gonna want to make sure that your display scaling is on full panel. Not off, not centered, not preserve aspect ratio, unless you like playing with black bars. So I'm going to say it again, you put it on full panel, not centered. Um, you can copy my settings, uh, you don't actually have to, this is just, you know, what I see fit. Ideally everything is optimized except for, I don't know why astrophic filtering is even there. But anyways, um, that's it for that. And then now you can do it for f this one is going to be doing it for Fortnite. Uh, this one's a little bit harder, but it's a little bit easy at the same time. So you're going to want to hit your Windows key plus R on your keyboard. And you're going to want to type in uh, percent app data. data. If I can spell data, you know, I'm going to just go like that. Percent app data percent enter. Now, you're going to see this folder pop up, don't worry, you're pretty much almost done, you can, all I'm doing right now is I'm going into where I installed Fortnite. Alright, so once you hit app data, you want to go to app data at the top, local, and then you're going to want to find Fortnite game, and you want to go save, config, windows client, game user settings. Once you get into here. You can expand it. You don't even need to put a full page because I find when you put a full page, it's just really distracting. You're gonna want to hit Control and then hold Control and then press F. Then type in here, just like that. Res. You can even just put Res, and then you go find next, 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 all the way until you find where it says resolution. Ideally when you put resolution it's a lot quicker because you know it's resolution, it's the full world world word. Res O V Shion. And then you go find next. Find next. 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 There you go. So what you're gonna want to look for is your config, your file actually might look different. Just slightly different. I play in 1024 so you're gonna want to look for this first one. If you can't find this first one, then it's perfectly normal, I think, unless Fortnite's game files changed again. I don't know. Anyways, you're going to want to make sure the X position is always the one that you either put 1440 or 1280 or the bigger number. And then the Y is your smaller number. So like, let's say this would be 1920 or here it would be 1920. This one would be 1080. 
So this one's always the bigger number. This one's always this one is always a smaller number. And then you're gonna want to make sure that over here, for last con uh, last confirmed desired screen width and height are both the same 1024 768. Unless you want to play, you want to downscale it, upscale it, doesn't matter. Then you're gonna want to find your x axis, which you're gonna put to the smaller variable because you put the bigger variable somewhere up here. I don't remember where it is, but anyways. So that's how you're gonna do that. And then once you do it, hit file, save, make sure you save it, and you can exit. If you want, you could do like some other people where they just put it read only, but you don't actually have to. A lot of people just like to do that because they don't like it when the game changes settings and I really don't care if my settings change because I can just fix it later. So um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, if you want to know how to change your refresh rate, here you go. I'll also put it now. So you're going to right click your desktop or you could just go into your settings, type, go display settings. And then you go all the way down to, you know, display, all the way down to advanced display settings. And then it, it'll look a little bit weird. Just, you can see the graphics card I have. I have a Radeon RX 580. You could also, then you're going to have to press over here or whatever display your um, graphics card is connected to. Why is my refresh rate 59? You're going to press this and then you're going to go he here monitor and then you're going to want to select the, the the amount of hertz that's all the way all the way in the bottom so if you're if your hertz go from like 60 to like 240 good job for you because most people can't even hit 240 hertz so i'm just gonna you know i'm just gonna put this keep changes uh i recently updated my rate my um gpu drivers so i think that's why it reset so once you do that, you should be all set. And uh, yeah, if you have any problems, uh, comment it down below. I'll try and help you as much as I can. And uh, yeah, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you really want to. Um, give me some like ideas on what kind of videos i should do next and uh yeah peace